Late last year, I reviewed the Dell XPS 13 2-in-1 that was refreshed with the Intel Ice Lake processors, beautiful display, 2-in-1 convertible laptop that I absolutely love, although I wasn't crazy about the keyboard. But I couldn't wait to get my hands on the follow-up to the Dell XPS 13. Now this is one that I've been wanting to review for quite some time. I got a little bit of hands-on time with it at CES 2020 back in January, but I couldn't wait to get it into the studio to put it through its paces. Now it arrived today, and so far, I've been blown away. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my unboxing and first look at the Dell XPS 13, all new for 2020. Coming up. Want to see more videos like this? Why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. This way you'll be alerted every time I upload a new video. And make sure you follow me on my social media, especially Twitter and Instagram, because that's where I post all the latest updates. And in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by Dell. I'm not being sponsored by Dell. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own, and no one is seeing this video before its release. This review unit is on loan from Dell, and once this review is done, I am sending it back. Pricing starts at $1249.99. The review unit that I have comes in at $1749.99. I'll put the link below for more information and where you can buy one. And with the specs and pricing out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Now inside the box, of course, is the unit itself. We'll get to that in just a little bit. You also get some accessories, of course. These are really nicely laid out, a very nice unboxing experience, once again from Dell. You get a 45 watt USB-C power adapter with a US plug connection. And of course you get your extension cord to give you more length, that's pretty good. Now you also get a USB-A to USB-C adapter which will come in handy and you also get some documentation and warranty information as well. Holding the unit for the first time, this is very high end, very premium, just like we've come to expect with the XPS line. Now this comes in two colors, frost white with the alpine white composite fiber palm rest, or you can get it with the platinum silver with the black carbon fiber palm rest. Now I have the touch model which comes in at 2.8 pounds or 1.27 kilograms, extremely thin and extremely light. And as we always do, let's check out the port selection. Let's start off on the left side, we get one USB-C Thunderbolt 3 port, it does data, charge, and display out, and yes, it does support four lanes. And you get a micro SD card slot for storage expansion. Moving over to the right side, you get a second Thunderbolt 3 port, it also does data, charge, and display out, and yes, it does support four lanes, and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. You get two side firing speakers that are located towards the bottom. Keep in mind, there is no full size USB-A port, but as I mentioned, they do include a USB-A to USB-C adapter. Now, when it comes to user upgradability, well, it's a mixed bag. They do make it easy for you to get inside this laptop. All you need to do is remove the T5 Torx screws, remove the bottom plate, and you're in. Now, once inside, you'll notice the dual fans, the heat sink pipe, and you'll also notice that 52 watt hour battery. We'll talk about the battery in the full review as far as battery run times and my testing. But as far as the battery is concerned, it's pretty big for an ultralight portable. Now, what is upgradable is the SSD, but unfortunately the RAM is soldered into the motherboard and that is not upgradable. Now, my review unit has 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's DDR4 RAM and that's what I have here today. Now it comes with Killer Wireless 6 and Bluetooth 5.0. We'll test that in the full review as well. Okay, let's talk about the display because it's pretty special. I gotta say, I'm blown away by it. What we're looking at here is a 13.4 inch Full HD Infinity Edge touch display. It's an anti-reflective display that Dell claims will get up to 500 nits of brightness and I don't doubt it. This is a super bright display. So far, I'm impressed with it. It's an IPS display, but when I first looked at it, I actually thought it was an OLED display. I kid you not. It's that sharp. It's that crisp. It has really deep blacks and extremely vibrant colors. Now, this is an infinity edge display with very thin bezels all across, including the top, which houses the hardware for the webcam. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm simply blown away on how good this display is. Rest assured, I'll give you all the numbers in my full review. Now I have the touch model and I gotta say, it's very responsive. 
Well, what can I say? Not a very good webcam, 720p, 30 frames per second. Good news, it is in a proper place. No longer up your nose or chin cam like we saw years ago. It's above the display in a very small bezel. Pretty amazing engineering to put a Windows Hello infrared camera in such a small space. But as far as Skype and video conferencing is concerned, it'll get the job done. It's just not very good. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comments section below. Now, for those wondering, yes, you can open it with one finger. And when it comes to the keyboard, big improvements across the board. Now, if you watched my review of the Dell XPS 13 2-in-1 that I did late last year, you know I wasn't a big fan of the maglev keyboard, and for good reason. Key travel was very shallow, and it didn't have great tactile feedback. It took me a little bit of time to get used to it. Although not terrible, it wasn't really great. This, on the other hand, is a much better keyboard. They went with more traditional scissor style keyboard here and it works really well. So far, really comfortable to type on for extended periods of time, decent key travel with good tactile feedback. And it has a really nice multi-stage backlight that allows you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. And so far, the Precision Touchpad works really great, super responsive with two finger scrolling that's actually buttery smooth and all the Windows 10 gestures worked as advertised. Now when it comes to the sound, so far I'm really impressed. I'm going to give you a little bit of an audio sample. Let's take a listen. Hey everybody, it's Andrew and this is my review of the all new Dell XPS 13 2-in-1. Coming up. Want to see more videos like this? Why not hit? So far, I'm impressed with the speakers. They do get loud. There is some bass, and the mids are pretty good. I'll do more testing, of course, in my full review. Now, my review unit has a 10th generation Intel Core i7 1065 G7, also known as the Ice Lake processor, with 16 gigabytes of LPDDR4X RAM, along with 512 gigabytes of M2 PCIe NVMe SSD storage. It also has Intel Iris Plus graphics. Now I've had this unit less than 24 hours, so it's too early to tell about performance, about thermals. Of course, I'll have to do my full testing to bring you those numbers. So stay tuned for that full review, which will be coming very soon. Now this has a 52 watt hour battery and I'm expecting big things out of the battery on this. And so far it's not been a disappointment. About 24 hours in, I'm seeing all day battery life. Of course, I have to do my full testing to bring you the final numbers. But so far it's looking good. Less than 24 hours in, these are my initial impressions, and I gotta say, I'm blown away by it. It has a stunning 13.4 inch Full HD Plus Infinity Edge display that is simply gorgeous. It's got vibrancy, it's got sharpness that you'd want, and it gets really bright. I like its improved keyboard over the Dell XPS 13 2-in-1's maglev keyboard. I also like the fact that it has an excellent precision touchpad, 16 to 10 aspect ratio for getting work done, and I like the fact that it's very thin and light, with with some stunning looks. I also like the fact that its speakers get pretty loud and really rich in terms of sound. I am simply blown away. Now a couple of negatives here, no USB-A port, RAM is not upgradable, and it can get expensive. But so far, no real deal breakers. Of course, I'm going to put it through its paces and bring you my final review, coming very soon. So what do you think about this bad boy, the Dell XPS 13 2020? And I gotta say, I've been blown away. I love its stunning 13.4 inch IPS Infinity Edge display, full HD plus resolution, 16 to 10 aspect ratio. And again, I thought I was looking at an OLED display, but I wasn't a really crisp and sharp IPS display. I'm super impressed. So far, I'm looking at really good battery life thanks to that 52 watt hour battery. Uh, really like the SSD on this so far. It's looking really speedy. I'll give you all the numbers, of course, in my full review, which is coming up very soon. Really surprised at how good the speakers are. Improved keyboard. I'm glad they went away from the maglev keyboard from the 2-in-1 that we looked at last year. Uh, this is so much better. Uh, I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comments section below. Starting price, you're looking at about $1,250. Price is tested, this is about $1,750. And to me, well worth it. It's got premium build, 
premium looks and premium performance so far. But of course, I'm gonna put it through its paces, bring you all the numbers, the battery life, the display numbers, and everything else I normally do in a review. But again, I wanna know what you think. Let me know in the comments section below. But so far, I'm impressed. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my unboxing and review. It's not a review, it's an unboxing, okay.